For the reverse stretch manipulation, we also need a low position of the table. The patient is lying at the beginning with the painful side up, one arm behind the back and one leg outside the table. This time, I'm not standing in a right angle towards the patient, but I'm going to stand in the longitudinal direction. Well, we need three components again, pretension in the rotation, longitudinal pretension, and manipulation. So what do we do for the rotation? Well, you take one contact at the spina iliaca anterior superior, you build in the rotation until your arm is straightened. But okay, now I have quite some rotation over here, but I don't have rotation in the shoulder yet. So I go over there and then I build in equal rotations. Yeah. Again, this wouldn't work and this doesn't work either. So imagine again the line through the body of the patient, you need equal rotations. Once you have the equal rotations, then you go to the longitudinal pretension. What do you do then? You stand very close to the patient. I stand on one leg and bring my body weight above the patient and my arms are really straightened. She's very mobile. Not every patient is very mobile. If you have patients who are a little bit more stiff, then this part of the procedure could be, could be rather uh, difficult. So then there is a little trick. Let's imagine she is very stiff. What do you do then? You take a contact like this, you reinforce, and then you really push, 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 <coughs> until the elbow is straight. And then the continuation is no problem. You go to the scapula, you look for equal rotations, you build in the pretension and the manipulation is just throw your body weight down. So don't do this <laughs> because then you lose your pretension again. If you lose your pretension, manipulation doesn't work. So just throw your body weight down. Pretension and down. Many patients are going to say that they feel something in this area, which is 100% normal. That's absolutely no problem. But of course, you also have an optimal effect in the lumbar spine. When you do the pretension, the longitudinal pretension, make sure that you really lie on your patient and then you can do the impulse. <laughs>